Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to count out this super cute Tooth Fairy Monster using the Cricut Maker. So this is for free in the design space. And so what I'm going to do first is, um, as you can see here, it comes with all your um, instructions. And we're, once we hit make it, it's going to take us straight over to the mats. So I went ahead and uh, printed out, um, I know it's coming in a little bit yellow because of my lighting, but I went ahead and printed out um, the instructions and that way I have them on hand where I'm setting. And you don't have to do that, that's just an extra step I'm taking. So let's go ahead and hit make it. And the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to come over to the first mat. So it's going to bring us over to the first mat so that we have, um, let's see, with this project, seven different mats, and each one tells us the colors that we need to be doing. I'm going to use regular um, vinyl today instead of the um, iron-on vinyl, and this is just going to be for demonstration purposes. So imagine that the regular vinyl is iron-on because I don't have my heat press yet, and it will not be here until um, next Tuesday. guys now that we got all of our pieces cut out we got our little guy and then here's his little felt pieces so I'm just gonna wing it and kind of center everything so but whenever you do it as long as you have the pin it's gonna kind of help you out here and guide you of your sew lines and all that stuff so I'm just going to kind of center all of these pieces here I'm gonna go ahead and I think this would be a good spot to put his mouth. Fabric glue down, because this is where I'm going to put his mouth. Let me go ahead and double check that those are going to be lined up correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and get these down. And you can always do like a one little stitch on those as well. Um, I am going to sew down his little pouch though, still. There's his mouth. Now let me go ahead and I'm going to do his teeth and then I'll do his eyes. these together, face sides together.
now what we need to do is flip him inside out. So I'm going to start from the top to the bottom. I'm going to take a Cricut pin and I'm just going to push down until it's all the way pushed out. And then we'll fill him up and finish sewing him. Okay, now we have our little guy inside out. Um, I got a little carried away when I sewed this leg, so it kind of went up a little bit. That's okay. We're going to try to adjust that when we sew him up with the filling. But this is what he looks like. It would have been so much better if I'd have had my iron on and easy press already. But that's okay. You could even have applique on some little felt spots and all these spots here. Instead of using iron on in case you, you don't plan on doing that. Um, but uh, super easy. Um, I did accidentally, so you'll learn from me, I accidentally put these on the outside. Uh, when I had it reversed where they should have been facing straight down in there. But you'll see where I fix that and re-sew it. I just, it was really easy. Just took my seam ripper and then redid that. Super easy, but let's go ahead and stuff them with some stuffing and finish sewing them up. Okay guys, so here is our finished product. So he was supposed to look like this. This is what he came out looking like. Let me bring that in a little bit closer so you guys can see. A before and after. Um, I did change up the colors on everything pretty much. Um, I did do um, everything the same felt except for I added felt here and here. Um, obviously you can see his legs didn't come out looking like this one. Um, I did sew up the entire pocket because I'm not going to be using it for a little tooth fairy pocket. So I sewed all the way around to make it like a little belly pouch. So if you, if you were going to make it for that, you would leave this part open and just sew all the way around. And then, like I said, I used vinyl instead of iron on. And, uh, that's what he came out looking like. Um, I missed a tiny little spot over here on his arm, I think, sewing here. But other than that, like I said, his leg, I think it came out really good. Um, I am not a expert sewer by no means. Um, I haven't even picked up a sewing machine in two years. As you can see the other day, I unboxed the one, this one that I purchased here. And I literally ran it last night through um, with a wash rag just trying out a decorative stitch. But I have not sewn in over two years. And even at that, I mean, I've made some little ruffle clothes and stuff like that but I'm definitely not an expert and I wouldn't even say I'm intermediate so I think I'm, I am good at it I will say that um but I'm definitely not a pro so I mean for me to come out with at least this if you were making it with your kids or trying it for the first time um definitely an easy project um it's not a hundred percent I mean obviously I got a little, little leg here but you know, you can practice with some if you're making it as a gift or anything you can practice a few runs and try it out um super cheap i did get my fabric from hobby lobby so i hope you guys found this helpful and if you liked it please subscribe and hit the like button down below and i'll see you on the next one